the IMERGE study was actually presented, the phase two part presented at the ASH meeting. It's about emetostat in lower risk MDS patients being ESA refractory or um, not eligible uh, for ESA uh, or resistant. And uh, this study actually investigates emetostat in uh, these uh, patients and uh, patients actually with a very high transfusion burden, um, actually eight median number of eight units of red blood cells within uh, eight weeks prior to uh, the uh, prior to start of, of the therapy. So really patients where nothing works um, and uh, therefore the, the, the data and the results of the study were quite impressive with regards to the overall rate of transfusion independency, which was above 40%. And also 29% of the patients were transfusion independent uh, beyond one year. So also not only that uh, the rate of transfusion independency was quite high, also it was durable uh, in uh, approximately one third of the patients, which uh, I think is a quite a remarkable uh, results. The study also did some translational research and um, found out that uh, the allelic burden of mutations like SFTV1 declined uh, at the time also uh, of the response to emetostat single agent treatment, um, suggesting that the drug has disease modifying activity. These, these study results of the phase two are the backbone for the ongoing phase three trial. Um, with a two-to-one randomization, emetostat versus placebo in exactly the same patient population. So lower risk MDS patients uh, being refractory or, or resistant uh, to ESA uh, therapy and being transfusion uh, dependent. And um, the trial is running. And I think um, hopefully it, the, the study will pave the way for a potential uh, registration of a novel agent in low risk MDS patients.